Hello dear students here is our another topic that is stored grain pests In India post harvest losses caused by unscientific storage insects rodents microorganisms around for about 10% of total food grains the major economic loss caused by grain infesting insects is not always the actual material they consume but also the amount of contaminated by them and uh, their excreta which make food unfit for human consumption there are about 500 species of insects have been associated with stored grain products nearly 100 species of insects or uh, insect pests of stored products cause economic losses so uh, let's see uh, in detail the classification of stored grain pest uh, basically or broadly the sto stored grain pests are categorized into two major categories the category 1 considered as primary storage pests and uh, the another major category is considered as secondary storage pest the primary storage pest is nothing but the pests that cause damage to the sound grain or the sound here means a whole grain or undamaged grain that are called as primary storage pests the primary storage pests further divided into two sub parts or two sub categories and called as internal feeders and external feeder these categories are based on their site of feeding so the, in the list of internal feeders here is a rice weevil cetopilus oryzae then anguimoise grain moth cetotroga cerealella then lesser grain borer rhizoperta dominica then pulse beetle callus bruchus chinensis then uh, groundnut bruchured beetle caridon ceratus then cigarette beetle lesioderma species then tamarin beetle then pachymeris uh, sweet potato weevil it is silus formicarius potato tuber moth potato tuber moth is a uh, thoromia operculella and arachnid beetle arachnid beetle is ariceris fasciculatus whereas the external feeder pests include rice moth rice moth uh, uh, it is a very serious uh, important pest its scientific name is corsaira cephalonica rust red flower beetle tribolium species then fig moth or also called as almond moth ephistia species then capra beetle capra capra beetle is trogoderma granarium and uh, the final external feeder pest in um, primary store grain pest is indian meal moth it is a plodia interpunctella so these are important primary stored grain pest which initially or introductorily attack on sound grain or whole grain or previously undamaged grain now uh, the another category that is secondary storage pest the secondary storage pest means insects that damage uh, or cause losses to the broken or already damaged pest that is secondary uh, storage pest and the list of secondary storage pests is saw toothed grain beetle saw toothed grain beetle orgifilis species then long headed flower beetle it is a lat latiticus oryzae it's a uh, then a flat grain beetle it's a cryptolestis species then grain lice lipocelis then uh, grain mites acarus zero these are important secondary storage pests so um, uh, these are important uh, recognized 
species of stored grain pest which can get divided into primary storages uh, uh, primary storage pest and secondary uh, storage pest according to their nature of damage now among all these we are going to uh, discuss about few important pests which are economically causing severe losses to the store uh, stored grains and store products so uh, in the list there is a um, list of primary storage paste among the internal feeders uh, and top in the list is a rice weevil rice weevil is cetopilus origi it belongs to the curculionidae and order coleoptera it is worldwide distributed and uh, finally um, and found um, um, all places of india it is most destructive pest of stored grain uh, uh, in marathi it is also called as sondi or sondikide the rice weevil may be found in the uh, paddy field in the field conditions all, uh, as well so the host range is mostly uh, on the cereals uh, so it's called as rice weevil uh, of course it causes damage to the rice sorghum wheat barley and maize um uh, it is uh, very small in size and uh, uh, its caterpillar is also very small uh, it uh, uh, the grub measures about 5 mm in length and uh, <clears throat> it is plumpy fleshy and legless creature so uh, the reddish brown beetle as you can see in the image uh, it's a reddish brown beetle measures about 3 mm in the length and having a uh, cylindrical and Uh, a long slender body with a with a curved uh, elongated rostrum rostrum is nothing but a beak beak like a rostrum uh, its elytra these wings elytra bears four uh, light colored reddish or yellowish spots uh, on both of the elytra so uh, the rice weevil breeds from april to october and uh, hibernates in winter as an adult inside the cracks and crevices of uh, uh, go down or under the wheat bags during the active season female lay about 400 eggs on the grain by making a depression on the hole uh, and the hole which is sealed with a gelatinous secretion uh the students uh, if you remember uh one similar uh, paste which founds on uh, founds on mango is uh, mango stone we will which also makes the depression on the soft fruit here it makes the depression again or uh, uh, with the help of uh, rostrum they are possessing the eggs hatches in 6 to 7 days and young larvae bore directly into the grain where they feed and grow uh, to become mature then uh, these females uh, or the ad, uh, the caterpillars uh, sorry the grubs pupates inside the grain pupal stage lasts in 6 to 14 days on emergence adult we will cuts uh, that grain Uh, it's a way out from the grain and uh, uh, it start feeding for next 4 to 5 months at least uh, uh, there are 3 uh, to 5 generations they can complete in a year so both of the grub and adult cause severe losses as a part of uh, uh, as uh, both of both the grubs and adults are the damaging stages in the uh, the developing larvae lives feeds inside the grain causing irregular holes of 1.5 mm in diameter on grain of rice sorghum wheat barley and uh, maize before harvest and in the storage also the we will destroy more than uh, what they eat means uh, the amount of losses caused by this pest is not because just of their feeding but also by their uh, by, uh, by their uh, destruction the another pest that is, that is lesser grain borer is uh, rhizoparta domanica and uh, 
uh, let's see about its nature of damage in in this case also both of their adult and grub cause damage the adult grub bore into the grain and feeds and reduce them uh, to mere she uh, shells with many irregular holes the adults are powerful flies here are the uh, uh, pictures of uh, damage the adults are powerful flies and can migrate from one go down to the another causing fresh infestation the adult produces uh, produces a considerable amount of frass or a, a mealed substance spoiling more than what they eat similar to the uh, rice we will the another important primary internal feeder pest is anguimoist grain moth moth its scientific name is cetotroga cerealella it belongs to family gilichidae and order lepidoptera it is again a worldwide distributed pest uh, in the larval stage it causes damage the damage is at its maximum during the monsoon season only the larva larvae cause damage by feeding on the grain kernels before harvest and also in the store condition the larva bores into the grain and uh, uh, feeds on its content the exit hole of 1 mm diameter with or uh, without a uh, trap door uh, as seen on the affected cereal grains as it grows the it extends the hole with partly gets filled with pellets of excreta it imparts unhealthy appearance and uh, smell in a heap of grain the upper layer are most severely get affected so this paste is important in in the cereal crop the um, next paste is cigarette beetle uh, lasioderma sericon its scientific name Anobidi is its family and order Coleoptera. The damaging symptoms produced by cigarette beetle are both grub and adults bores into the tobacco products wise cigarette, chew roots and uh, chewing tobacco. Presence of circular pin head sized bore holes on on processed tobacco is the typical symptom of attack. it also attacks the grain of wheat peanut cocoa bean cotton uh, and seeds of all these products so uh, the another important pest that is pulse beetle its scientific name is callosobruches uh, chinensis family is brucidi order coleoptera it is um, uh, a worldwide occurring pest and uh, uh, it caused severe losses the uh, amount of losses uh, which has been recorded are severe than other pulse pest uh, uh, let's see the nature of damage of caused by uh, this pest um, actually this pest breeds actively from march to the end of november it hibernates in in winter and uh, uh, the hibernation takes place in the larval stage a single female lays a small oval scale like th 34 to 113 eggs at the rate of 1 to 37 eggs per day the incubation period is for 6 uh, to 16 days larval period takes place within 10 to 38 days the hibernating larvae take 117 to 168 days to complete their development pupal stage last for uh, 4 to 28 days the adult escapes by cutting a circular hole in the seed coat and um, such grains can be spotted very easily the average life span of adult is about 5 to 20 days only the insect passes passes through uh, insect passes through 7 uh, to 8 overlapping generations in a single year the adult grub adult and grub feeds on grain by making small hole infested infested uh, stored seeds can be recognized by the white eggs on the seed surface and the round exit hole with the with the help of flap, uh, with uh, the presence of flap of 
सीड कोट काबुली टाइप्स आर पर्टिकुलरली वेरी ससेप्टिबल ग्राम ग्रेन्स विच कैन बी ईजीली गेट रिकग्नाइज एंड सीवियरली गेट अटैक्ड बाई पल्स बीटर here uh, you can see some images of uh, kabuli gram and uh, some leguminous seeds or leguminous grains are which, which are get affected by pulse beetles uh, so um, up to up to this paste um, uh, uh, we'll continue uh, the pests of uh, pests of stored grain pest uh uh till our next lecture i uh, will see in the next lecture the remaining important pests of stored grain and uh, their uh, management practices which are uh, helpful for field and storage conditions thank you